All righty. So welcome once again to this masterclass, which is called Creating a Five-Star Online Experience to Mirror Your In Salon Magic. I'm super grateful that you have chosen to give up some time and spend it with me and join this masterclass live. We are going to have lots of fun exploring how to create uh, digital experiences that mirror the physical experiences that happen in your salon. I'm really passionate about teaching you some strategies and some techniques to do that effectively because it's very, very powerful. Um, like I said, if you're joining now, um, jump in the chat. If you've got any questions, I will come to it at the end and answer them all. All right, this is jam packed, you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, first off, this is my promise to you guys today, uh, is that you will gain some industry insights that have never before been shared, and they're very topical to this day and age we find ourselves in. Plus, you're going to learn how to effectively translate physical salon experiences digitally. Does that sound good to you? Awesome. Okay, now if you stay to the end, I want you to know that I have a really special bonus and a freebie for you. And trust me, you don't want to miss this. Um, it will get you through the next three months of the year. So the busiest time of the year, we've got a tool that's going to help you uh, plan your social media and it's free for you to access. So stay to the end and I'm going to show you that and show you how you can get access to it. Okay, so what makes the difference? Well, the answer is you. Just by showing up live to this masterclass, you've shown that you are not like other salon owners out there who aren't yet ready to level up. You are, and you're here to learn, put in the work and take action towards what needs to be done. So that's amazing. Congratulations to you. In this masterclass, I'm going to show you how the industry is tracking so that you can get ahead of the pack and understand how to take your business and your social media marketing up a notch. So stick with me for the next 40 minutes or so and pay really close attention to all of the deets I'm going to share. You can't get this info anywhere else and the actionable tips and strategies I'm going to share, I believe, could literally transform your digital salon presence. Alrighty. So that's me. <laughs> if we haven't had the pleasure of meeting, uh, my name is Jo and I thought I'd give you just a really quick background into how I've come to be teaching you this masterclass today. So I am a very proud hairdresser by trade and a previous salon owner. So I started my first hairdressing salon as a solo operator and then I quickly grew to two salons and managing a large team across the two locations. Around the same time, which was about 25 years ago, I was lucky enough to stumble across a couple of entrepreneurial software developers fresh out of uni, um, and together we created Shortcuts, which is now used by salons, spas, and barbers all around the world, which is pretty cool. Um, these days at Shortcuts, I manage our product roadmap and our vision for the future. I work with our strategic partners, and I launch special projects. I've essentially evolved into a marketer at heart. I absolutely adore marketing and particularly digital channels, which is what we're going to talk about today. And of course, I'm very passionate about helping salon owners like you guys, how to deliver a better guest experience using technology um, and digital marketing strategies. All right. So today, as promised, you're going to learn three things. Uh, the latest industry insights and trends that we've spotted from analysing literally thousands of our customers' data, this exclusive info has never been shared. Two, we're going to take a deep dive into COVID's impact on social media marketing and learn what types of content is attracting more customers' engagement and ultimately bookings. And then we're also going to learn um, some tips and strategies for how you can translate the beautiful physical experiences that happen in your salon into engaging social media posts so you can connect more intimately with your clients and your followers. And I'm also going to share a tool that's going to really help you do this and save you hours every week. Does that sound good? All right, let's jump in. Okay, there's no denying that 2020 sure has been one heck of a ride. As the coronavirus has travelled the globe, many salons, spas and barbershops were unable to deliver their regular services. So 
you know, I believe that COVID has changed the future of our hair and beauty industries. Now, in case you don't know this about me, I love researching the latest industry and consumer trends, both using data from our customer base, um, but also looking externally. I do lots of reading and lots of uh, Googling, and I'm super excited to share with you some recent insights that I've discovered. So let's check them out. First up, I wanna share with you what people are looking forward to most post pandemic. So Kanta, who is the world's leading data insights and consulting company, like they're massive. They have applied human and artificial intelligence to social media conversations during COVID-19 to identify what people are most looking forward to after lockdown. Isn't that cool? So you would probably think that seeing family and friends would be number one, right? Well, here's the top 10 list. And this was a survey, well, not a survey, it was data collected uh, in April, 2020. So, you know, a good month into the pandemic. So whilst, you know, seeing loved ones does make the top 10 list, According to Kantar's social media analysis, what people most want to do after lockdown is get some pampering, which is great news for us in our industry. And this category includes going to the barber, getting your hair cut or coloured, having your nails done, shaping your eyebrows, getting a facial, having a massage. All of these things are what people have been saying on social media and the research is showing as the number one thing that people are looking forward to post-pandemic. So I think that presents an incredible opportunity for us. And when I look at the online booking data from salons, it confirms that. So it's, oops, something happened there, hold on. Okay, hopefully you can still see me. Send me a message, Jenny. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Uh, all right, I'm going to keep going, assuming that we're still broadcasting. Yeah, all good. Okay, perfect. Sorry, don't know what happened there. All right. Um, so, guys, it's not all doom and gloom is basically the message here. The global hair and beauty industry is recovering. So, as you can see, when the pandemic hit in February, uh, there was a steep nosedive, like we not even a decline, it nosedived um, in the volume of online bookings globally. And it lasted approximately through till June where things really started to bounce back. So here you can see all of the different countries. So the blue is the United States, um, the green is the UK, and the grey there is Australia, Canada here is in orange. So as you can see, online bookings really bounced back and they bounced back pretty quickly um, as different regions opened. Now, I want you to know that this includes all of the states and all of the provinces within that country. So some bounced back even more. Um, I just didn't have enough time to share with you all the data today, um, but I, I just want you to note that, that even in Australia, because we've had Victoria that's still been suffering, look at the online bookings, like they're right back up there. So once, um, you know, once the whole country is back up and running, we're really seeing a spike. So online bookings are also recovering at a greater rate than manually made bookings, which indicates to me that more than ever, clients are enjoying the experience of booking online via the app. Okay. So next I want to tell you that within the online booking data, I delved a little bit deeper and I looked at the source of the booking. So whether that be via a website, app, or Google. And I discovered that reserve with Google bookings showed the biggest year on year growth rate out of all of the sources. So when comparing September 2020 with September 2019, uh, we see a growth in reserve with Google bookings of almost 20% in Australia, which is huge. And in the UK, it is 31% and it's a massive 64% in the US. So basically, guys, if you are not taking bookings through reserve for Google yet, you are missing out on this upside growth because customers are prioritizing Google when they're searching for local services. So customers are looking for haircuts or facials, um, 
in their local area and typing in their suburb or using the GPS on their phones and the Google the salons with Google Reserve are getting a big upside in booking. So I wanted to share that um, piece of information with you as well. All right. Another trend that I've been watching for quite some time, years, <laughs> is the number of days in advance that people are making their appointments. And there is a huge percentage of people that are booking much, much closer to the time of their visit. So years ago when people used to book six weeks out and then wasn't that amazing and they'd rebook when they left and our rebooking percentages were 60 and 70%, that is changing. So let me share with you one by one. This is a little bit to digest, um, but we will get there. I also want to tell you that 2020 and 2019 are very similar percentages. So it ha we haven't seen a huge increase uh, due to COVID-19. These percentages were happening in 2019 before that happened as well. So what you're seeing here is that in Australia, and this is across thousands of salons, um, so some are higher and some are lower, but 19% of all bookings made in Australia were made within one day of actually having the service. 21% within three days, 8% within five days. And 50% of all bookings are made within seven days of visiting the salon. That is really changing, okay? Now, the UK shows pretty similar percentages wherein bookings are made, certainly within one day at 12%, and 50% of all bookings are made within 30 days. So more people are booking a little bit further out, so 30 days in advance versus seven days in Australia, which is very interesting, isn't it? And North America, well, that shows a whopping 52% of bookings being made within three days of visiting. So I'm not just looking at, you know, the walk-in type business here. Oh, this is right from high end, um, you know, to walk-in type businesses, all of that data combined. People are wanting that instant gratification. They are not wanting, they can't think too far into the future um, like they used to be able to. So what this tells us, is that more people are booking at the last minute and there is an industry trend towards what I call the blended model, which is a mix of walk-in visits and appointments. So what that means is appointment-based businesses need to cater for those last minuteers, <laughs> and walk-in-based businesses are finding that people don't want to wait long times. So that's a blended model. So technology can really assist you guys to offer convenience for your guests that want to book into the future or your guests that want to book, you know, closer to the time, whether that be via a self-check-in kiosk out the front of your business or via your app or online. So there are some amazing technologies now that will allow you to connect with your clients no matter when or how far in advance they want to um, make a booking and visit you. And this also highlights another thing that I just want you just to think about in the back of your mind. When you are looking at you know, your scheduling or your rostering of your employees to make sure that you have enough for you know, for what's booked in and enough to handle what you expect is going to come in within the next one day, three days, five days, seven days by having a look um, at what it what is happening in your salon. So hopefully you're finding that interesting. I certainly am. And I've been watching this trend for a couple of years now. All right. So the another interesting stat that I've been monitoring is the percentage of clients that make bookings outside of training, outside of trading hours. So this is when the salon is closed. OK, so they can't call you. Um, and as you can see here across the countries, between 28 percent of clients in Canada through to 37 percent of clients in Australia are booking online outside of business hours. So this is when they cannot call you. Um, it tells me, again, that people don't have time during the day to call you and make an appointment. They don't know what they're doing. Um, they want the convenience of being able to look at what your availability is like in their own time and book. And a huge percentage of doing it are doing that when you are closed. So the bottom line here is if you don't have online bookings, um, a huge percentage of your clients are at risk of going elsewhere. Okay, so have a little think about that. Make sure that you are using your social media, your reserve with Google and your online booking so that you can capture the, that almost 40% of people that want to book um, while you're sleeping or while you're closed. 
And amazingly, I want to share a really good stat that the percentage of online bookings, this is in Australia. So I would say of all the regions, you know, globally, Australia has had had the most recovery so far, excluding Victoria. So I looked at Australia's data and then I pulled out Victoria because most of those other areas are back up and trading. Um, so we were able to compare September 2020 against September 2019. And it is fabulous to see that there is a 173% increase in online bookings. So I remain positive and optimistic that other countries will follow suit. So make sure if you are currently in lockdown or you you know you don't believe you've got your online booking optimized, that that's something that you go in um, and have a bit of a look at. Okay, so now let's shift and take a look at some insights uh, as to what COVID's impact is on social media marketing. So a few weeks ago, um, we surveyed our customers to see how it's impacting at the hair and beauty industry's social habits. So I wanted to know what's changed, what's working, and get an idea for where the tide is heading so that I could share it with you. And I'm really thrilled with the results that we saw. So lots of data again came out of this, and I just want to share with you some interesting highlights. So 70% of you guys increased your social media efforts to stay connected during COVID, which is amazing. Um, let's face it, more and more people have shifted their entire lives online. Um, new pandemic hem habits are forming uh, and people are turning the social media with the usage of Facebook and Instagram skyrocketing. So there's no surprises here that 70% of you are increasing um, you know, your efforts to stay connected. It's social media has become an extremely powerful business platform for maintaining relationships, along with that sense of local community and connection. We've entered a time also, I believe, where there is a widespread disrupt in news media or fake news in inverted commas. So businesses who are trusted um, and that you have a relationship with yield an unbelievable opportunity to influence their audience by talking to them directly. And social media is a really great channel to do that. Um, so social media is now considered a priority with 63% of you posting at least three times a week. Amazing. 45 dedicate more time to their social media and 47% more people are posting on their social channels daily. It's become a daily thing that you guys are doing. And here are the top five types of content that uh, audiences that of people that responded to the survey says were the most engaging. So by engagement, we mean likes, comments, resharings during COVID. The number one, no surprise, COVID related updates. And, you know, I cannot bang on enough about how your customers want to know how you're going and don't feel that you've said something once. You can keep those updates coming to reiterate what you're doing when it comes to, um, you know, uh, hygiene in the business and your protocols there, when you expect to be open, you know, what your hours are, all of those kind of things, anything to do with changes in the way your business is working with regards to COVID is um, something that is getting lots of engagement. Obviously, hair and beauty focus posts about the team, humor and inspiration. Gosh, we all need a bit of that, don't we? Um, and tips and tricks and DIY. So these are just the top five. Um, there are lots of others, but if you're thinking about what has been the most engaging, this is what salons are telling us is working the best. Okay. So then we also asked, what wins did you experience um, during this time? And people are trying lots of new things, which is amazing. So IG um, lives were favorable. Um, lots more people going lives. So I know I definitely saw that and still seeing that on my feed. Um, IG TVs were well received. Con um, clients contacting via social media to make appointments, whereas maybe they hadn't before. Selling retail far and wide. Um, clients were happy to be informed. Um, clients loved inspirational videos before and afters. I saw some really great creative stuff happening that was getting lots and lots of engagement. And obviously with Reels coming out, that's um, amazing that we have another uh, platform to be able to do that. Increasing followers 
amazing, you know, at that time. I think it was great. Lots of salons were sending text messages and emails to, um, you know, encourage clients to stay contacted via social because that's where you're updating the latest stuff and people want to stay informed, so they are doing that. And lots of new clients by um, sharing makeovers and things. So how amazing is that? Lots of goodness happening there. But unfortunately, now this one was quite alarming, hence why we're doing this masterclass today, is that 74% of you guys said that you struggled to share that wow factor of an in-salon physical experience via social media. So what if we could change that today? Would you like to learn some actionable tips and strategies backed by research to help you translate those magical physical experiences that happen in the salon into engaging social media posts. Would you like to learn that? <laughs> yes, of course you would. That is why you are here. All right, so let's dig in. So translating physical experiences in your salon into engaging social posts. What do I mean by that? These What are these physical experiences? Well, I am talking about those in-client personal experiences that happen on the daily inside your business. So how a client feels when she's looking at herself in the mirror, that amazing feel a client gets from, you know, a deep massage at the basin, um, the, how she feels when she's enjoying a luxurious facial or a body treatment while listening to soothing ambient music and enjoying the beautiful sense of the gorgeous products that you guys use. So right through to the spring in the step as the client walks out the door feeling completely transformed. So how do we translate those experiences onto social media? Well, luckily for you guys, I've done lots of research and I've dived into the psychology behind delivering content that portrays those physical experiences. And I'm going to reveal three simple strategies to help you do this. Okay, so number one is tap into the senses. It's the five human senses, sensory and emotional marketing is absolutely the key when it comes to appealing to today's consumer. We really have to look uh, for new ways to reinvent ourselves and embrace that whole new type of post-COVID customer. It's time to forget those buzzwords and get back to basics by, feeling, by appealing to the five human senses of sight, hearing, smell, taste and touch to drive clients towards a purchase or a booking. So I really don't want you to underestimate the power of emotional marketing online. Many decisions we make, and I would probably go to so far as to say most decisions we make each day are dictated by how we're feeling in the moment. So let's explore how to do each of these specifically when it comes to our industry. Okay, so the first one is sight. And a picture really does paint a thousand words. So you need to make sure that images on social media are aesthetically pleasing. They need to be beautiful. Customers' attention spans are dwindling and appealing to the sense of sight has become increasingly competitive. So sight is really the first sensory experience a client has when they walk into your salon. And did you know that our brain processes visuals 60,000 times faster than text, which is crazy. So I want you to have a think about what colors your clients see when they first arrive. Um, make sure that you reflect your physical in-store colors and your ambiance um, and your salon's branding into your socials. Because according to Kissmetrics, color increases brand recognition by 80%. 80%, you guys, huge. And studies have also shown that people make a subconscious decision about a product within 90 seconds of viewing it, and 90% of that judgment is based on colour alone. What? That stuff just blows my mind. So colour and beautiful, visually appealing images is important. So try to inject those into your feed and show the colours of the things that are happening. So mixing colors into a bowl, um, you know, applying mud masks, you know, applying nail polish, lining up your nail polishes, uh, makeup is beautiful, hair transformations before and afters with color, really visual, good lighting. 
and sharing that visual emotive content will put your followers heartstrings, will pull on your followers heartstrings, I should say, giving them FOMO, which is what we want. That's the psychological um, trait behind the sense of sight. And here's a couple of beautiful examples on the slide here of, you know, the hand holding the clippers there. That image is going to pop in a feed. It's visually appealing and it's going to get people to take another look. Um, this is another grid of a beautiful salon that has, a, you know, a really cool sort of cowboy boot vibe, you know, lots of colours going on. You can see the fonts there, like they're really it's very um, on brand for them. You can see a salon shop inside there. So inside the salon, a bit of hair and a lot of vibes. So visually this feed is very appealing and each of these images is going to stand out in a feed and appeal to that sense of sight. All right, so then we've got hearing. And, you know, these images on the screen, I can almost hear that water hitting the hand and the, the hum of the blow dryer. And, you know, have you ever heard a song, right, which takes you right back to a special moment in time? Well, this same theory can be applied to your social media marketing. So immerse your followers in a sensory journey through the unique sounds of your salon. So they can be the actual sounds or they can be images that provoke the memory of sound. Does that make sense? So that exciting sound of people chattering, the hum of a blow dryer or the trickle of water flowing. Um, better yet, consider your audio branding. What music do you play? Um, what's your playlist like? What's your genre like in the salon? Can you portray that in your social media, um, you know, with images and or video? So fantastic for stories, IGTV. Put the sounds that you're likely to hear in the salon in your social media feed and that will bring your clients right back to the salon. Okay. So the next one is smell. So when you walk into a salon, you can almost always notify, notice a change in the scent, right? You may not smell it, but ask your clients what they smell when they come in. And it's all about the unique types of smells that are unique to your brand and your business. So they might be the scented shampoos or, you know, facial masks that you use, oils that you burn, flowers that you have on the reception desk or burning candles. So create and post content that features the types of things that would trigger a client's memory scent, okay, of your salon. So there's a couple of images there that you can almost smell, right? Okay, taste. So um, taste goes hand in hand with smell. <laughs> Generally, these two work really well together. So sometimes the images, you can smell them and you can taste them almost. Um, you know, you, you've seen those gorgeous images of food that make you crave to want to eat those food. Well, the same thing happens here. You can target your client's taste buds. And when your guest enters the salon, are they greeted with a warm coffee, a tea or a glass of champagne? Share images and videos, just even little short snippets in your salon, um, highlighting those tasty treats or beverages to remind clients of that five star in salon experience. Okay, so we can see there in those images that they are tasty. <laughs> All right, now touch. Touch is undoubtedly the most important sense. So we save that for last, particularly when it comes to portraying hair and beauty services. All right, every salon experience requires touch, whether that be through a relaxing scalp massage, brushing or blow drying, applying foils, combing, giving a beautiful facial, a hand massage, a pedicure, gosh, all of those amazing feelings. Like that roller on the eyebrow, oh my gosh, that just looks amazing to me. And I can almost feel that woman um, having that head massage and look how relaxed her face looks. So see how tight and intimate these photos are. They are just really focused on the touch that is happening, you know, within that, um, that picture. So play on the physical sense and capture these really tight, close, intimate content that triggers that sensual feeling of being pampered and polished in your salon. Remembering that the number one thing people want when they come out of this pandemic or post lockdown is pampering and it's the sense of touch that they are craving the most. So have a think about how you can portray the sense of touch and the other senses into your social media because that will really help you transform those physical experiences 
digitally. Okay, so that's the number one strategy. Now let's take a look at number two, and this is to foster familiarity. So this will help you translate those physical experiences by familiarity. Have you ever heard of the mere exposure effect? Well, I did some research into this, and it's a psychological quirk where people end up feeling a preference for people or things simply because they are familiar to them. This psychology phenomenon can also be harnessed to get people to form attachments to your business, right? Your fabulous salon. We want them attached. We want them familiar. We want them feeling comfortable. So to play on this psychological trait, make sure that you regularly share content of not just the services that happen, all the products, but your staff member, your physical layout of your salon, the journey from the moment they step in the door right through to the moment they leave at the end and even what happens in between. Um, you want to share that experience so that it becomes familiar. And I want you guys to remember that not all your clients see all of your social posts. So keep on spruiking and sharing this stuff. Do not be scared to reshare similar content about your team and salon over and over and over again because repetition works. Our brains love repetition. The more we see something, the more familiar we come, become with it and the more attached we become to it, okay? So I see people do, you know, intros of their staff and they cycle through them once a week and then they stop and they leave it and they don't do that ever again. You need to keep doing it and it doesn't matter if you're even saying the same or very similar things, okay? So that is strategy number two. Think about all the things that you can portray on your social media that fosters familiarity with your clients or your followers. Okay, and number three strategy is that we're going to explore today is to leverage your army of raving fans. <laughs> your clients are your best influencers. Everyone, 95% of people are on social media and they have their own unique following. And mostly their following will be their friends and family that live nearby and local. So local to them and local to you. So did you know that 49% of consumers depend on influencer recommendations? Like this is huge, almost 50%. And this is what you want to tap into to gain more ideal clients. So encourage your clients to create and share what's called user-generated content or UGC for those that are cool and know all of the acronyms so that your salon gets exposed to their social networks. This expands your reach exponentially, it's huge. So encouraging UGC, user-generated content, is a fabulous tactic as potential clients can then digitally experience your salon authentically through their friend or trusted influencer source, okay? So to do this, you've got to make it easy. You've got to ensure that your clients know your salon socials and your, um, your handles and your hashtags, okay? You can easily do this by putting stickers on your mirrors or displaying them at reception or even printing them on business cards or little cards that you can hand out to people. And, you know, ask them. Ask them to share and tag you in their posts. People love to do that. People are sometimes waiting for that opportunity, particularly the millennials. And you could offer incentives for clients to do so. Maybe, get creative here, maybe all monthly tagged posts go into the draw to win a free service or a free product. That would be the cheapest marketing campaign that you could do in these times to gain exposure to, you know, an army of your target market. So, you know, be generous with what you offer to encourage people to do that. All you need to do at the end of the month is check out all your hashtags um, and, you know, pick a winner and then share that winner. Now, people love reciprocity. Now, I'm really glad I said that right because I had to practice that a few times. If someone does something for you, you naturally want to do something for them, right? It's human nature and this is a study that has been done and this works both ways. So if you post a picture of your client on your social media and you tag them, asking their permission, of course, um, then they are likely to reshare it on their own social media and vice versa. You do the same. If someone shares on their channel, you share for them. So it is um, it is human nature for people to reciprocate 
a favor. So use that to your advantage. And if you haven't done this, honestly, this is, um, you know, one of the, the one thing if you could take away from today would be to influ influence um, your existing customers to do this. Go back and talk to your team about how you can encourage it and make it a focus um, and watch it take off. It will be amazing. All right. Thank you for sticking with me so far. We are doing really well. Okay. So I just want to recap so far the three strategies that will help you translate your beautiful physical salon experiences digitally via social media. Tap into those five senses. Think about it when you're taking an image, doing a video, writing a caption. Are you tapping into one or two of these senses? Are you fostering familiarity? What can you do to improve that? And are you leveraging your raving fans um, with user-generated content? All right, so that's a lot of information. And hopefully that has given you some knowledge that um, you can take back and imply within your business. Now, I love Jim Quick. If you don't follow him on Instagram, you need to go follow him now at Jim Quick. He is a brain and memory specialist and he teaches people how to speed read and how to retain knowledge and how to turn knowledge into power. So knowledge alone isn't really power. You can have all that knowledge and you can leave this masterclass today and, and do nothing, <laughs> um, right? Or you can use it. Um, and combine it with other traits uh, of yours and turn that into potential power. Now, I'm going to share with you now a tool that's really going to help you take action because I know that that first step is often the hardest. So I want to you know, give you a head start and provide you with some things that will help you do this today. Start doing this today in your business. I hear this is the type of thing I hear a lot when, we, when I talk to people about social media. So everybody knows it's important, right? But people say to me, I don't have a lot of time. I can't find time for this in my week. I struggle to say consistent. Sometimes I'm really good and then I don't post for three weeks and then, you know, it takes me a while to get back on the horse again. I don't know what I should be posting. I can't write good captions. We are in our industry amazing verbal communicators, but sometimes turning that into a written caption is really hard for us. Um, everyone's sick of talking about COVID. I get it. People don't have a strategy to follow. Um, a lot of people say to me, I can't keep up. It changes so fast. I don't have time to learn all of these new things. Um, I don't know how to take great photos. I need some tips for that. And I can't afford a social media manager. So these are the reasons that salons uh, tell me uh, or the problems that they're struggling with. So probably some of that sounds familiar to you, right? And I would say that many salons, hair and beauty, don't really know what to post each day. So therefore, what we end up seeing in their social feeds is image after image of hair or skin or brows or nails or makeup or whatever services are happening, which of course is absolutely gorgeous. And you guys should be posting those pics. Everyone loves a good before and after. Um, and it's a critical component within the social media strategy, but it's one small component. And if you are constantly posting hair pics and beauty pics or nail pics and, you know, services, they can get a little same, same, right? Especially if that's all you're posting. So if you imagine, put yourself in your followers' shoes or your clients' shoes, if they've seen your eyebrows and what you do a few times, they're going to scroll on by because they've seen that. They're interested every now and then, but they're not interested all the time. You need to post a variety of content to keep your audience engaged and to stand out in your client's social feeds. So how would you like gorgeous, fresh content curated for your salon's feel, um, social feed monthly? Let me show you something really cool. All right, so I want to introduce you guys to Social Sorted. It is a membership platform that provides you with fabulous, fresh content along with a game plan and strategy so that you can easily execute a winning social media presence. And it's especially designed for my favorites, <laughs> the hair and beauty industry. So with Social Sorted, you will never have to worry about what to post again. Every single month, you will get 39 professionally shot images. We get the photographers, take the locations, and we take tight, emotive images that tap into the senses for you. 
Um, we also provide 39 customizable and engaging captions, and I'm going to show you what they look like. They're fill in the gap style. You can sort of see on the right there. You can take them as they are, uh, or you can just take it as inspiration and turn it into something that is, is you. You'll also get a strategic action plan where we teach you bite-sized chunks of information and strategy that you need every single month um, that you can learn within 20 to 30 minutes. And we've also got a private Facebook community where you get direct access to us and the rest of the uh, membership so you can engage with the cool peeps in there. And all of this is designed to help you engage with your social media followers. Okay, so let's take a look inside the membership. I'm going to share my screen um, and show you what it actually looks like inside. So once you've um, created a, an account on Social Sorted, I'm going to tell you how you're going to get access to this for free. So what I'm going to show you today, I want you to stay with me because you're going to get this for free. Whether you decide to continue with the membership or not, that's completely up to you. But I want to give you this as a bonus for sticking with me this far. All right, so every single month you get a new issue and here are all the issues here and we have a different topic every single month so instagram story highlights a covid 19 survival kit how to do influencer marketing how to use canva instagram reels etc now this month is a three-month content calendar so remember i told you at the beginning i'm going to give you a tool that's going to help you plan out three months worth of um, social media content for this busiest time of the year because I want you to be able to batch it and do it so that you're not having to think every single day and you've got time to focus on your clients. All right, so inside every single issue, here's what you get. A video from me walking you through the strategy. It's normally you know, somewhere between a five or 10 minute video, not very long, and I talk you through the issue and how to get the most out of it. You also get the action plan. So this is the strategy I was talking to you about, and it's a PDF that you can download or you can open it up on the screen here. And I'll walk you through it very quickly. This particular month is um, all about planning ahead. You get a letter from me, get lots and lots of information. Here's a strategy about three different ways that you can use this content calendar, depending on the way you like to work. Um, and here we go. So every single month, you get an idea, uh, a topic and an idea that you can use to post. And you don't have to think about what it is. So it might be motivation, it might be a tip, it might be a team spotlight, so that we can deliver variety. Some of these will be hair, beauty and product posts, and some of them will be about your team and emotive about your services. So you've got it for three months, guys. So November, December and January, so much variety. We also partners with Plan. Now, Plan is a uh, Instagram and Facebook scheduling and planning tool, and they provide every single month even more information. So they are on the cusp of cutting edge and really know what's happening, particularly when it comes to Instagram. So here we've got a checklist of thing, 10 things that you can do once you've posted to Instagram. And some of them were really interesting and you know, news to me. So resisting the urge to edit was one that I did not know that if you go in and chat and even fix up a typo or add a hashtag after you've posted an Instagram post, it's going to tank your reach big time. So all of these things here are things that you can do to make sure you're getting the most amount of reach as possible. So this is all in the action plan. So every single month you get this. So it's your education, it's your strategy, and we jam on all of these things inside the Facebook group. And then you get all of the content that you need to supplement your social media strategy. So we still want you to take the pictures inside your salon and of your team and of your before and afters, but we're going to provide you with other images that you can use um, to provide that variety and visual appeal in your you know, social media feeds, whether that be Facebook or Instagram or whatever it is. So we usually start off with three um um, world Day, so International Men's Day, World Television Day, World Vegan Day. Oh, Vegan Vegan Day was a couple of days ago, which is really interesting. And then each of them are paired with captions. Now you can download these images by simply just clicking on this little icon here, and from your mobile phone, no problem. Click on it, save it to your camera roll, and then you can go straight into Instagram and upload it, or your planning tool if you use it. And you can also copy the text and paste it straight in and you can then edit away and off you go. So it's amazing. Now these images are 
beautiful, they're unique, you will not see them or find them on any you know, stock images or anything like that because we take them, they're ours, we take them. You can use them royalty free on your website, um, you know, on your social media, in your emails, wherever you want. And you get 39 every single month, brand new ones, okay? Um, yeah, so beautiful images. We go, we cover a plethora of um, content pillars, which we will teach you. If you join up to the membership, we will teach you all about the content pillars. So personal insight, you will match that up on your calendar when it when it says to post about a personal insight, you'll come and find a personal insight post inside the membership. Use that as inspiration and, and turn it into your own. Okay, so we've got hair images. We've also got um, beauty images. We've got um, images that go across across both lifestyle images um, absolutely gorgeous here are some beauty images here and as you can see they're really colorful they're really emotive they're nice and tight um, and they come with engaging captions that have been written by professional copywriters so you don't have to do that now you can take it and tweak it and most people will likely do that our hope is to save you hours by giving you content so that you can download a bunch of images, pick which ones you like, read all the captions, pick which ones you like and start to plan out your social media. We also design for you these unique motivational quotes and they, each one comes in light or dark. So depending on what your feed looks like, you can um, choose the one that suits you best. All right. So. You just download the whole lot, it comes in a little zip file and off you go. You'll have all of the um, text in a Word document, you'll have all of the images zipped up and you'll be able to do whatever you want with those or you can download just the images or just the captions or like I showed you before, one by one. And it works on your mobile phone or any device. So that's the membership. So let's go back and just do a little bit of a recap. Okay, so... Hopefully, as you can see, with Social Sorted, you will finally get control over your social media strategy. Now, I don't want you to take my word for it because we have so many amazing members already in the platform. And here's what some of them have to say. So Graham says that he's finding the social captions, pictures and quotes so very useful. It's allowed him to focus on other areas of his business, which he's grateful for which we're grateful for as well. I'm loving the convenience of not having to take many hours away from my family to organize and schedule social posts um, is what Danae says. And that might be you as well. So if you want to save some hours, then you can jump in and, and check it out as well. Um, Betty says she's truly enjoying the membership. It's great for people that are busy and can't think of content. Most of us, right? Um, Selena says, thank goodness for social sorted, having everything superbly written makes life so much easier. Now I can sit down for a couple of hours at the beginning of the month and plan out the next 30 days scheduled posts with ease. That is amazing. And um, Casey says, as an owner, I feel a lot of pressure to post and say just the perfect thing on social media. A lot of us feel like that. So with your templates, even if I do some editing, it makes it a lot less intimidating and also gets the ball rolling. So our members that are inside the membership are really enjoying the platform. And here's what some of their feeds are looking like. And you can see how they're breaking up those hair and beauty pics with um, other engaging content that is really portraying their brand, their team members, um, and some motivational quotes and things in there as well. So you can think of Social Sorted as being like Netflix for your social media. It keeps your social posts consistent without having to spend hours every week. It breaks up those hair and beauty pics with compelling posts about your salon's brand, team and vision. It provides engagement that will convert your followers into bookings because that's the point, really. <laughs> um, it offers actionable social media strategies and tactics by the action plan and we provide a safe private community of like-minded people for you to connect with. Now, all of this, you guys, <laughs> is available to you via a really super affordable subscription. It is only 35 US dollars per month and there's no locking contract. So you can try it month, two months to see if you're enjoying it. This is an absolute bargain. Everybody says to me, this is too cheap, Joe. <laughs> And it's true, and if I do say so myself, it is an absolute bargain. And 
this will probably be the very last time that members can join and get this price as guaranteed. We will not be opening the doors to the membership again this year and next year the price is likely to go up, extremely likely to go up. And if you consider the time saved and the value of the content that you get, 39 images, 39 captions, the action plan and the community, like a single photo, if you went to buy one stock photo that probably you're going to see in lots of other people's feeds is going to cost you about 20 bucks. Um, and a professional copywriter can cost hundreds an hour and a social media manager is expensive. So what is your time worth? And for less than the less than the price of a haircut or a facial each month, you can get your socials finally sorted. All right, so if you sign up now, you get all of this for this low price guaranteed. But first, you get to try it for free. Like I said, if you stick with me to the end, uh, you will learn that I'm going to give you access to November's issue for free, no strings attached. I want you to have it and I want you to experience the membership and see if you like it and it provides value for you. And if all it did was save you just one hour a week, re reduced even just a tiny bit of overwhelm and stress when it comes to managing your social media, um, you know, gave you a bit of inspiration and refilled your creative tap with some new ideas and educated you and your team on the latest social media tips and tricks, would that be worth it? Okay, you guys, so, so much information today. So just to uh, review what you get, um, each month you will receive 39 professionally shot images and motivational quotes, 39 captions, which you can take as they are or personalise, an action plan with the latest tips and tricks and trends that are happening in social media because we're always looking into that, access to the exclusive Facebook community, bonus content, which we drop in from some of our partners um, and we do mini masterclasses inside the Facebook group as well for whatever the topic is of the month. And you get the first month to try for free. So there really is no risk and you can cancel um, before the 1st of December and you'll pay nothing. So you do need to put in your credit card to register, but you will not be charged a cent. Um, if you decide to stay on, you'll be charged on the 1st of December and you will get December's issue and so on moving forward. I know you will love it and every single month you'll get beautiful, fresh images. So the doors are open now. You can go to socialsorted.net and we're accepting members, like I said, for the last time in 2020. We only open the doors a couple of times a year. Um, so if this sounds good to you, now's the time to jump in and check it out. All right. Yay. You made it. Thank you so much. We are one minute under 10. So you have stuck with me for an hour and I really, really appreciate your time. And I really look forward to um, connecting with you guys inside uh, the membership should you choose to join us. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen, jump back on camera. Hopefully you can see me again now. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll just check and see whether you can see me. And I'm going to jump in and answer any um, questions. Yes, Channing says you can see me. Awesome. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, all right. So um, let's start at the top. So I have a Google page, but how do I register for booking with Google? So you need to contact um, the team at Shortcuts and they will help set you up um, with Reserve for Google. We just need to turn it on for you um, and we need to talk to you about some strategies to make sure that your Google My Business page is optimised so you um, get those things. So um, yeah, shoot me an email if you'd like one of the team to follow up or you know, feel free to contact our um, customer care team and they can talk you through how to do that definitely get on there because it's going crazy. Are these shortcuts data? Yes, Michael, these are from shortcut salons um, throughout the world. Um, what PCT is booking on average online? PCT, Michael, can you tell me what that means? Probably should know, but I don't know. Uh, what smell for a salon do you suggest? That's a really good question. I think it really depends on your brand. You will know. 
you will know the smells that you like. Um, you know, something that is relaxing, something that is refreshing, um, you know, something that is upbeat, not too heavy. I wouldn't go too heavy. You know, we've got a lot of chemicals in, you know, in the salons as well. So something that will counteract that. You know, when you walk into a store, um, I know Anthropology is one of my favourite stores. And every time I go to North America, I buy a gazillion of those candles because it takes me back to the, the vibe of that particular store. So it doesn't really matter what it is. Um, it just needs to be consistent. Raylene said, social sorter has been fabulous for us as a salon. It's given us uh, a post on the days when I'm feeling lacklustre of inspiration and I have a pre put together post. Yay. I'm so happy. That makes me so happy. That's, um, that's the intent. So that's really cool. Are the cast, uh, captions customizable? Yes. So they're fill in the gap style. So we give you a few ideas of the types of things. So if we're maybe saying, you know, you may not know this about me or, um, you know, something like that, um, we'll give you some ideas so that it prompts something for you or you can take one of the suggestions that we've got. Sometimes people just take the idea and rewrite it as well. You can use it on your phone and your computer. Yes. Uh, Gail had to go. No problem. Where else can you use images? Yes. Uh, yes, you can use them on your website. You can create beautiful banners. Um, you can use Canva to resize them. They are super high res, so they're beautiful. Emails, anywhere you like. You know, LinkedIn, great for LinkedIn as well. Yes, if you struggle to come up with ideas, this is brilliant for you. Awesome. Jess, thank you. You are welcome. Raylene, always great to learn a few new things. Awesome, hope you did. I have kids salons. Can you help? Um, look, yes, we're not, we don't target for kids, but I feel like, you know, I don't know whether you've jumped in and had a bit of a look to see whether, um, whether you can adapt the captions for that. You're targeting, I think with the kids salons, your target market is still the parents, right? So you want to um, tap into the psychology for them and how, gorgeous their kids look when they have their haircuts and things like that. Um, I think you should jump in and check it out and shoot me, um, you know, a message, that, you know, maybe that's something we could add some bonus content for you and create a few um, captions around, around that because, I mean, everyone does kids. Uh, yes, uh, Cindy, insights are very interesting, awesome. Freshly ground coffee is a really good smell. It is isn't it? I don't drink coffee, but I absolutely love um, the smell of coffee. So that's, that is so true. How to motivate your staff to take photos for social media. Oh, I would run an incentive. <laughs> I would run something that, you know, whoever gets the most, um, you know, likes or engagement or something, uh, you know, give them a dinner out or give them, you know, tickets to a movie or some free product in, you know, find ask your staff what would motivate them to do that. But yeah, I would be looking at incentives to get it, to get the ball rolling. And once people get going, the feedback you get from engaging social media will, will keep you going. Uh, is there a special soda one month free for, uh, um, I'm not sure where you are. It's one month free. It's yeah. One month at the moment is free. So if you sign up in November, you'll get November for free. The doors will be closing very soon. So the doors will not be open in December. So if you want this free month, you um, definitely need to sign up now. Where do you sign up? A good question. Uh, socialsorted.net. Uh, three month calendar will help you so much during the holiday season. I'm really glad to hear that, Sarah. That's very good. Um, that was the intent. Um, when we were thinking about what was the topic going to be for November, we're like, okay, in November, you can kind of breathe a little. <laughs> December is going to be crazy. And we want you to be ahead of the game for January because we want to make sure that we keep that going. So that's why we've given you three months content um, calendar. Uh, Annette, you are welcome. Thank you for your time. Uh, yes, the site again is, Maria, is um, socialsorted.net. Gosh, so many questions. You guys are awesome. Uh, does it help with promotions for salons? Yes, definitely. We always um, have in there some promotional um, captions. So there's 
always the call to action is to get them to book. Um, and then we give you ideas for promotion. So we'll write a promotion and we'll put in, you know, you'll be able to put in what your discount is, how long it's available and what it's for. Um, but yes, we write um, how to do that so that it's, you know, it's promotions without being sleazy. So you can sell um, in a way that is engaging and um, connects with your uh, customers. Uh, I struggled to get into a routine. Um, how do I overcover this? Um, yes, struggle. Okay, there's different kinds of people. So, so the question is that how, um, you know, how do I get into a routine with social media? Well, the good thing is with the inside the membership on the first of the month, you get a whole bunch of new content. So we recommend that people jump in straight away and check that out. Now, you might be the kind of person that wants to dedicate. 10 or 20 minutes a day to do to your social media or you might like to do two hours a week or you might like to do it monthly it doesn't matter whatever kind of person you are my number one tip for you is to schedule it into your appointment book just like you you do your appointments to make up you turn up on time and um, you pick up your kids from school and you all of those kind of things if it's in your calendar in your appointment book it will happen so that is my number one tip what however you decide to do it daily weekly or monthly Get it into your calendar and make sure that you dedicate that time to do that, right? Your, your learning uh, and your marketing is so, so important. Sharon's going to sign up for the trial today. Awesome. Uh, da, 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 da. Social sorted is so Cindy said it's working very well. The calendar is a winner. Thanks for making it. Stay safe. Yes, you all stay safe as well. Uh, yes, you can edit the photos. Yes, you can put presets on them. Absolutely. If you've got a specific um, aesthetic that you like, you can apply the presets um, so that you get that um, uniform, you know, sort of looking, you know, grid. Um, absolutely. Okay, cool. All right. I think I've answered all of the questions. Um, unless there's anything more, thank you. There's still a whole bunch of you that are still there. I don't even know if you can see me. <laughs> I hope you can. Uh, I certainly hope you can hear me. And, you know, once again, I really appreciate your support. Thanks for coming live. Hopefully I've helped you today and I really look forward to seeing um, some new faces inside the membership. So um, register, make sure you connect in the Facebook group because we are in there all the time. So thanks again and um, bye for now, you guys.